Podcast Total Sport, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports everybody. The B3 Ace is getting ready to send a team off for a major international competition. We get that story tonight from Kelsey Johnson. The World Indoor Championships team will be released this week by the Bahamas Association of Athletic Associations. The team, which will head to Poland for the March 7th through 9th competition, was submitted to the IAAF ahead of Monday's entry deadline. That list includes Chris Brown, Ramon Miller, Alonzo Russell, O.J. Ferguson, Andretti Bain, Latoy Williams, Warren Frazier, Adrian Griffith, Donald Thomas, Michael Matthew, Shaniqua Ferguson, and Shanae Miller. It was reported that all team members have already been contacted by President Mike Sands, who wanted to confirm the availability of athletes, especially those competing on the collegiate level. Russell and Ferguson may have to forego the world indoors and represent their colleges at the National Junior Collegiate Indoor Meet. Um, the good thing about events such as world championships uh, um, as this, right, there's qualifying standards. So you either would have made the standards or you would not have made the standards. So the selection process is basically a, a formality whereby uh, we identify those persons that have, would have competed this year and would have met the standards, this year meaning indoor championships, and would have met the standards. And then it's just a process of, um, of ratifying the team. The qualifying standard in the 60 meters for men is set at 6.65 seconds and 7.32 seconds for women. Frazier and Griffith are said to be the two entries for the Bahamas in the men's event and Ferguson in the women's. Frazier has the best this season of 6.54 seconds, Griffith's time is 6.63 seconds and Ferguson's time 7.31 seconds. Miller is the sole qualifier in the women's 400 meter event. She stopped the clock at 52.34 seconds. The male quarter milers needed to dip under the 46.8 seconds marker to qualify. Brown leads the list of qualifiers with a time of 45.93 seconds. William has a season's best of 46.2 seconds. Russell's time is 46.4 seconds and Miller stopped the clock at 46.55 seconds. Bain, Matthew and Ferguson are alternates of the men's 4x400 meter relay team. No coach has been named as yet. What you have to understand too is you have to look at the makeup of the team because just to name a coach for the sake of naming a coach, as a matter of fact, we came from uh, Puerto Rico a couple of weeks ago, uh, last week actually, and that was part of the discussion, you know, in terms of query. Uh, you look at the makeup of your team, and while it is always good to be able to name the coach well in advance, we in the Bahamas don't have the luxury. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. The Hugh Campbell Basketball Championship between the C.I. Gibson Rattlers and Doris Johnson Mystic Marlins taking place last night at the Kendall Isaacs Gym. And what a game it was, playing in their first big game in school history. The Mystic Marlins jumped out to an early 11-6 lead, but Rattlers coach Kevin K.J. Johnson, he's been in this position a time or two before, and he wasn't about to let his team get rattled. From their C.I. Gibson, they went on a 13-5 run to end the first quarter, and they never relinquished the lead again. The Rattlers led 42-28 the half, 51-39 heading to the fourth. Now in that last frame, the Mystic Marlins, they would make two runs, but they were both too little too late. And a last to Jeffrey with under three seconds to go. That never found the bottom of the net. C.I. Gibson wins its fifth Hugh Campbell Championship, 61-58. And that meant the Rattlers and their fans would party well into the night. But as Charles Fisher tells us tonight, the fun didn't stop there. After winning their fifth title last night, the celebration continued on Marathon Road at the school's campus. Teachers seemed to be more excited than the students all into this one. Then, it was time for the players and students to have some fun. Yes, the Hugh Campbell champs for the fifth time, the C.I. Gibson Rattlers and their MVP, Shaquan Lewis. We played well. I was very excited with my team, but they was impatient. Mm -hmm. They was rushing in and they relaxed and calm now, even though they made a run. Possibly it was a game of runs, but we just needed to cap it off and calm down the team and come collectively together and pull it off. I feel great. It's my only one. It's my last year. I was praying to God all the effort. I, we worked out. Give him the practice every day. Coach taught us never to give up. First of all, I'd like to thank God for the victory. i just like to thank my coach for all the hard work he's been doing, all the coaches. First, and I'd like to thank him for just giving all the things, encouraging words, he encouraged us with 
He said respect is earned. And that's the only way we won that tournament by earning our respect and by going on the court and leaving all on the court. And we came with the victory and I'm overwhelmed with excitement. We work hard all, all, all year long and just we just listened to our coach and we just came up with the victory on top. Principal Umbler indicating that the big celebration will happen sometime next week, but it's still time to bask in the glory after last night. This is my first one, so I hope to have a couple more coming this way. In CI Gitson Country, where the trophy for the Hugh Campbell Basketball Championship will reside for another year, I'm Charles Fisher. All right, thanks a lot, Charles. Moving away from basketball now, practice sessions underway for our men's national softball team. That team will travel to Cali, Colombia in late April in hopes of qualifying for the CAC Games in November. And just like the coaching staff, the players also expecting good results. Our major strength is that we're very athletically inclined. Um, having the young, the youth, the talent, um, all of that is in place. Um, we're just lacking um, a little bit more of um, veteran um, exposure. Um, so I guess with the training and the practices and the coaches them guiding us the right way, um, we should have all of the tools we need um, to be successful when we head to Colombia. Got some of the, the good best players around. I mean, I, I think we can work together and do well. The Grand Isle Resort and Spa in Exuma brought its Sochi Under the Sun Winter Olympics fundraising initiative to a close over the weekend with a gala banquet. Bahamian Olympian Ramon Miller and Director of Sports Tim Munnings joined in on the festivities with their counterparts from Canada. And it was a grand time to say the least after Canada won its second consecutive gold medal in men's ice hockey. Former national team goalie Elaine Waugh, he was one of the athletes in town and he was happy that this year's team had better luck than when he last played back in 1994 at the Little Hammer Games. We played the Sweden in the finals for the gold medal game and we lost in a shootout. It was a, it was a tear jerker. <laughs> I guess you would say that's the pinnacle of your career? Yeah, I would say that. That's definitely, it's definitely up there as far as uh, accomplishments for, for me hockey-wise. And uh, I was lucky enough to uh, be drafted in the NHL and be in the NHL for a few games, but never enough to make a, a long career out of it. So I played uh, a lot of my pro career in Europe after, after the Olympics. Why couldn't you make it in the NHL? You know what, I was a goalie and I, I, I don't know. I guess maybe I wasn't quite good enough. The start of the 2014 NFL season just over six months away and according to Bahamian descendant and wide receiver for the Washington Redskins, Santana Moss, he says the end goal remains the same as it's been for the past 13 years. You always start the season off saying you want to win a Super Bowl. You know, um, every team in the league said they're going to be a Super Bowl champ. But, you know, it's levels to get to there. You know, it starts right now in off season. You know, you have to train, you have to prepare. And you have to come come together as a team and know that that goal that you put putting up on top of that that table is something that's reachable. And when you do that, then it's time to go out there and play. And as long as you go out there with that mentality every week, you know, you have a chance. But, you know, or like I said, it's only one team that's going to come out champion. So you're just hoping almost to be that team. And that will do it for sports. But don't go anywhere. There's more to come after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.